Hi, this is Marco Cimmino and today with this short video I want to help understanding how to use CME Editor Image Rotator plugin for WordPress. Alright, let's get started. So we have this WordPress 3.4 installation. Here is the plugin. Uh, version 6.0, the new version. Now I'll activate it. Here we go. And uh, after that you can have uh, you can see under settings see me at our image rotator item yep here's the administration panel and here are the new options as you can see but i'll, ex I'll explain them a little bit later so first of all i want to go to my theme directory under wp content and uh, the theme is in the wordpress installation and Here's the 2011 default theme. I will make a copy of it and yeah, just in case uh, we will do modification only on the copy. Okay, so let's go to appearance then, and as you can see, this is a 2011 default version but here is the copy I just made so we activate the copy alright so now we can visit the site and see what it looks like this is pretty default website and um, another thing I recommend to use Firefox browser and install the add-on called Firebug Firebug is very useful to debug websites and troubleshooting any problems. So I already installed it, so we'll F12, we'll just activate it here. And if we want, for example, to understand where is located exactly the header image, I just click here, Element Inspector, and I click here, and here we go. Firebug tells you exactly where the element is here. and it's pretty easy because as you can see it's at an, under an header with ID branding and then there is a link here and inside the link the image tag and here it is so I'll close for now Firebug and so I go into the 2011 semi copy under then header.php editor so you remember where was it? that's pretty easy header id branding the link some code of course this is php code you won't see in the html because it's pre-calculated before so doing the rendering actually so here is the image yeah okay uh, so let's leave it here for a while what we want to do is let's close this and go to the settings simulator image rotator we have three ways now to upload pictures so let's try the plugins uploaded way so First of all, you need to create a simulator image rotator under WP content. I've done it already, but you have to do it and give the right access to the web server. Uh, so this depends on your installation, of course, on your web server. So I've done it, and you have you see a green check here if you, it's all good. So now I'm gonna search for some pictures. I've already prepared four with the correct size, the same size as the 2011 theme needs. So 1000 multiplied 288 pixels. So I'm gonna start uploading the first one. Here we go. So first one is already in. Second. Third. And fourth. Alright, so I have four images. So 
than before. Well, you can see already that it's, it's been recognized. All right, so now I'm gonna change some settings. I want this to be exactly a thousand, our container. And of course, 288. I don't want any border. And then, but I want some fade effect between the features. All right, so I'll save the changes and now you can see the code here so what I will do is select all copy and then I'll be I'll go back to the header.php do you remember this is the image tag we found out using Farbug we'll just select it and delete it completely now luckily for now the plugin doesn't permit anything different than that maybe in next versions and we'll just copy paste what I've been co what I copied from the plugins just like this it's very easy save and it's a copy so whatever happens you can always go back to the other theme so no problems at all so I'll close this and now I just visit the website once more and here you go the uploaded it pictures are fading and changing light. You need JavaScript enabled browser to see the fade effect and the light changes. So you won't see if you have JavaScript disabled. Alright, so I was already the first step. What I want to do is to explain the new features of the 6.0 because now you can also if you don't want the plugins to handle the pictures so you don't want to create any new directory anything of that that's good so you can do it now you go to appearance and 2011 for example as a header submenu so you go here and you can see that there has already some default pictures and eight of them to be precise so the new plugin, if you go back to Simulator Image Rotator, already recognize them since the beginning. So you can just select this instead of the one we uploaded earlier. And save the changes and visit the website one more. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So the default are right here and they are fading thanks to the plugin. Yes, all, all eight pictures. Okay, so this is already another way, but there is a third way. So themes uploaded. So you, let's say you want to go back to appearance editor, same place as before. And as you can see, you can upload from here as well. So let's upload some other pictures. And from here, if the picture is too big, you can crop it. So let's say you want to crop it. All right, so this is the first one. Let's upload a couple more. And crop it as well. Here we go, third one. Crop it. And now you can see the three new images are on top of the default one. So what I want to do is to go back to settings, simulator, major rotator. Here we go, already detected. So you can just click here and save. As easy as that. And then I visit the website and here we go crop the images using the same options just one time modification to the earth theme and everything then is really easy so this is the new version 6.0 i hope you like the new features and if you do and if you think this plugin is, has been useful for you don't forget to make a donation just go back 
to my side website marcochimino.net and donate some money whatever you like and with this I finished and I hope you enjoyed the video and drop me a comment thanks